our gateway can collect uh, both measurements at device and circuit level. It's based on a Raspberry Pi and we use an additional shield to connect through RS-405 to industrial uh, meters. Uh, while we use a USB dongle to connect to uh, Zigbee based smart outlet. So Mjolnir is a web dashboard for energy management. It's organized in pages, each with a set of widgets, and each widget basically performs a different kind of analysis on the available data. Um, page zero, it's the public page, which can be made visible to the public. Um, while from page one on, the, this basically represents the private pages uh, available only to the uh, user who is logged in. So, but let's go first of all through the menu. Uh, we have a tariff uh, menu which describes a, private, a price model. Uh, the price model is in this case um, a tariff plan. So a list of time slots uh, priced under different uh, conditions. And this is then used for most of the widgets to compute the energy costs. Um, the system is organized in aggregated and disaggregated uh, energy uh, data. And in particular, we have basically circuit uh, or device level measurements. Circuit measurements, as you can see here, uh, can be uh, added and binded to um, uh, buildings or um, rooms, while device level measurements are normally um, listed as devices. Uh, each device is associated to a credit, which is then decreased based on uh, usage events and the given price model. Um, we therefore have um, here different data sources, as we can see, the aggregated meter and disaggregated meter, and we also give the possibility to administrators to um, upload and analyze CSV datasets. Each widget performs different analysis uh, on the data we have in our database and provides modularity and is displayed seamlessly on all kinds of devices, for example, mobile phones, tablets, and of course the PC. To add a new widget, you simply can copy the example widgets we provide in our package you can download. And afterwards, you have to modify the configuration file where you can uh, set the size of the widget and the title and stuff like this. For example, now I'm working on the time series widget, which provides a daily power profile uh, of your house compared to the uh, recorded profile in the past. Concerning the authentication key, this is basically a token, which is to be used to authenticate the request to the server. Uh, social feature, social feature includes basically the public page where we can place widgets and also the possibility gives to include Mjolnir into an external web page. So this includes uh, a summary of the performance of the user and also gives the possibility to share the performance of, of the user um, on social networks. Mm -hmm.